this is a short uh, tutorial to demonstrate how to, to get a animation workbench running. We have here one part. This one and we want to rotate it around this axis and then we want to build a chain of four of these parts and they should rotate independently. First thing what I, I have done, I have created from the model some simple copies with part and I have called them finger, hand, forearm and upper arm and I have created three helper objects, the rotation center for the finger, for the hand and for the forearm. So and now I start. The first thing I need for the finger is a placer. I start the animation workbench, create a placer ob object and here the target is the finger OK and I want to rotate it one time full circle. I set the x value to 0 and the rotation axis is this point. I change this value to 5 and 5. Oh, this is not the rotation axis, it's false. I have to change the rotation center. five and five. Okay, this should be enough. I can start the placer and can test it. I see the finger rotates. So next what I do is I build a part compound of the finger and the rotation center. First I bring the finger back to the initial placement, then I select these two objects and create the compound. So next I make the hand visible and I can move the compound of my finger to the right place. This position and up a little bit. Okay, so this compound has a rota rotation center too. This is here. And now I make first a compound of the old compound and of the hand. And for this compound I can use a copy of this placer. This is the new placer. This is the placer for 
the end. And the only thing I have to change is the target. The target is not for the more the finger, but the compound one. I also can rename it. I can say this is the compound. This is the the animated hand. started and you see you can now rotate the hand and you also can rotate the finger. I bring both back to the initial position and make a compound of the animated hand and the rotation center of the hand. of the hand and the finger to the right place again 40 millimeters and 12 millimeters or 11 millimeters high so I repeat the procedure again I use the compound 2 and the forearm and create a new compound. So I check these two things work and now I have this compound. This is now the animated arm. animated forearm and again I take the place of the hand make a copy rename it to placer forearm change the target, it's now the animated forearm, and check whether it works. Okay, and now here we have at the end the upper arm. So what we can do now is we can again make a compound of the animated forearm and the rotation center. We have to bring it back to the initial positions. So, and the last modeling step is to place this new compound relative to the upper arm. So we see we can rotate all parts independently.
this works fine. Next step is to get uh, animation of all parts in parallel. We go back to the animation workbench and we have to create a manager and put all of these placers under control of the manager. And now we need a little trick, we need a toucher. And the toucher has to touch after every animation step the finger. In this case the complete arm is recomputed and the toucher must be in the focus of the manager. So and now we can test it and you see all combinates run. When I hide one component here then this animation is stopped if all placers are deactivated there is no fun okay and now I can refine the animations let's say we want to rotate the finger into the other direction then I have to change here the term with minus and now we have this to see it a better way we can deactivate the forearm and run it and now you see the hand runs against the clock and the finger in clock direction and the sum of both movements is that the finger always directs in the same direction and you also can speed up and can say the forearm should uh, run with four times the speed of the other parts we have to reactivate it and now you get this okay we stop it to uh, run the parts o to only run the parts we have to deactivate the manager and now we can rotate the forearm and we can rotate the finger and so on this all works and we want to see at the end the object model So this is the original part, then we have uh, the copies here, the hand, the finger, the forearm and the trick is you use a finger, you use a helper object, if you run all the configuration outside the GUI you do not need two arguments for the compound constructor so you can also build a compound with only the finger and you do not need all these spheres but if you use the GUI you need a second object so and now it's we have a compound and from this compound we build a second compound which is controlled by a placer it's always the same we have here compound the animated compound is controlled by the placer. All placers are controlled by the manager and the 
rest what we need is one toucher for the finger and if the finger is touched then all these components are recomputed <laughs>